hello guys welcome back to my channel so if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get notification about new console videos so in today's video i'll show you that how you can simulate rotating machinery problem using console multiphasing so for the simplicity i am going to solve a 2d rotating machinery problem in this video so because we are going to solve a two dimensional problem so the first step is to select the space dimension so i will click on add component and i will click the two dimensional space dimension so you can see here the two dimensional space has been added into console model builder the next step is to build the geometry so in this case i am going to make a circle so right click on geometry go to circle and keep it one meter radius and then click on build selected you can see here a circle of one meter radius has been created the next step is to make another circle so we'll right click on circle and click on duplicate and this time i'm going to put the radius 0 0.5 and again build selected and now i want to remove this circle from the bigger circle so i will go to the geometry go to the boolean and partition and select the difference function for objects to add i'm going to select the bigger circle and for objects to subtract i'm going to activate this one and click on the smaller circle and then click build it so you can see here the smaller circle has been removed from the bigger circle the next step is to make another circle of 0 0.5 meter so i will click on circle 2 and click on duplicate and click build selected. So you can see here uh, a new 0 0.5 meter circle has been added. So after creating the circle number three, the next step is to create rotating blades. For rotating blades, I'm going to right click on geometry and select the rectangle. So I am going to select the width 0 0.05 and height 0 0.9. So when I click on build selected, you can see here the blades are moved upward to bring the blade down uh, i need to change the position values for y i'm going to say it's 0 0.45 in the minus y direction and click on build selected and now you can see here the blade has been moved to the center so for the x-axis i will move the blade to the left so i'm going to put minus 0 0.05 divided by 2 so you can see here the blade now has been adjusted to the center position so to make another blade so i will go to the transform function and click on rotate and i will select this blade so i want to keep the original blade as well so i will select this key from the object and i'm going to rotate it for 90 degree and then click on build select it so you can see here another blade has been generated with the 90 degree angle so the next step i want to combine these two blades and make them uh, one geometry so for that purpose i will go on the boolean and partition click on union and here i'm going to select these two blades and i will uncheck this keep interior boundaries and click on this now you can see here these two blades are combined and now they are one geometry so the next step is to remove this uh, blade from this smaller circle so for that again i will go to the boolean partition and select the different function so in this case i'm going to select this circle as objects to add and for objects to subtract i'm going to select this blade and then click on the build select it so now you can see here the blades have been removed from the inner circle it is always recommended to select form assembly so for form assembly i'll click on form union and click on form assembly and now when i will click on the form assembly so you need to consider the pair type identity pair and this create pair should be checked so when i will click on build all so you can see here because we selected the create pairs and we selected the type of pair identity pair so identity boundary pair automatically has been added so if i go here you can see that uh, the identity pair has been added here so now we are done with the geometry the next step is to define the material so for the material i'm going to consider water domain so right click on material go to add material from library click here and write water 
it will take few seconds and then it will show all the water material available in the library so in this case we are going to select water liquid then close the add material so now you can see here under the material tab the water material has been added and both of the domains are selected for the water domain number one and domain number two so the next step after the material assignment is to select the appropriate physics in this case we are going to select a uh, laminar flow physics so click on the physics go to add physics and then go to fluid flow single phase flow and double click on laminar flow so you can see here the laminar flow physics has been successfully added so now we will apply some boundary conditions so right click on the laminar flow and go to pairs and click on flow continuity uh, we have to add pairs so we already defined identity boundary pair click on the add button and select the identity boundary pair and then click on ok again click on the laminar flow and click the points and then click the pressure point constraint and select this point for the pressure constraint and remember it should be zero and that's all about the laminar flow physics so the important thing is that we want to rotate this machinery so in this case the mesh is going to deform so we need to select deform or moving mesh condition. So for the moving mesh, I'll click on the definition and we'll go to the moving mesh and I'll select rotating domain. So for the rotating domain, I will select this domain number two. And for rotation type, I'm going to select specified rotational velocity. So I'm going to give the velocity minus pi by 50. So that's all you need to do. Now our problem is fully defined. So the next step is to create a mesh. In this case, I'm going to select a physics controlled mesh. And for the element size, I'm going to select a finer element size and then click build all. So you can see here, uh, a finer mesh has been generated throughout the domain using the physics controlled sequence. Uh, the next step is to add the study. So I will go and click on the study and I will click on add study. In this case, I am going to solve the problem for time dependent. So I will double click on the time dependent study, and you, so I have to give the output range. So you can manually change from here, or otherwise you can click on the range. In this case, we are going to start from zero and end on fifty with the step of one second, and I will click on replace. So you can see here the output time range has been changed. And if you want to monitor the results, so I would recommend you. To click on results while solving so while the problem is being solved you can monitor the results for each and every step so i will click on the plot and click the compute button so you can monitor the progress of your problem here so in this case this four percent of the problem has been computed and if you go on the convergence plot you can see here the convergence plot of reciprocal of step size against the time step now you can see here the progress is now increasing uh, and you can also monitor the rotation of the blade at different times so because we selected here the results while solving so it is showing us the results while solving the simulation so guys you can see here the simulation is now going to complete if i click on convergence plot you can see here our problem is almost converged and if i again click on graphics so we have completely solved the problem for 50 seconds and if i go here and click on the pressure so you can see here the pressure plot for uh, this rotating machinery and if i click on velocity and if i click this plot first and then if i click on the next plot and you can see here our problem is solved and the machine is rotating So to generate the animation, I'll right click on export and click on the animation. I'll click on player and for the display each frame for I am going to select 0.2 and then I'm going to click play button. It will take few seconds and then the animation will start working. So you can see here um, the blades are rotating and we successfully simulated our problem for 50 seconds. If you want to keep it rotating then click on the forever button in the repeat 
click on the forever and then click for play and then you can see here uh, our plates are rotating and we successfully simulated the rotating machinery problem so that's all about today's video thank you so much for watching